Hey guys, it's Michelle of Women Who Wow. I'm the founder of this amazing coaching and mentoring platform for the seriously driven woman entrepreneur. And I'm back for another day of coaching from the couch. This is where I do the vast majority of my work. This is where I write. This is where I'm often sitting when I'm coaching people if I'm not just kind of pacing. And I'm super excited to be doing this informal conversation with you guys. So if you have any questions um, or anything that is plaguing your business, please like put it in the comments below. Hey, Brenda. Um, and just forgive whatever happens on my end. This is definitely meant to be an informal little conversation. Um, I've got dogs, I've got kids, I've got people in the house. So if anything happens, just kind of roll with it. Um, today, I do want to talk about uh, the bonfire experience. It's something I wrote about publicly yesterday, but essentially creating a bonfire experience in your business, for, especially for you city guys, city girls. Um, you know, a bonfire Bonfire is something that it, people are drawn to. You know, I think it was President Roosevelt who um, first started using the term fireside chat, right? The truth is people are drawn to a fire, the heat of it, the magic of it, the intimacy of it. Um, and when you are trying to create a bonfire experience in your business, it is where you want people to be drawn to you. You want people to be gathering around your brand, bringing their friends and hanging around, right? And so this is really what you want in in your business. This is what you want for your brand. And so I want to talk a little bit about that. Um, for our Women Who Wow members, we're going to talk today about um, the one thing that we do as, particularly as women entrepreneurs, frankly, I don't see it as much in men entrepreneurs, but what we do as women entrepreneurs that really prohibits us from ever having our own bonfire that people will gather around. Um, but I wrote publicly about um, what we need to do to uh, create a bonfire experience. And one thing that you guys should know, that all of us should know and remember about bonfires is it really does take a little bit more than you think to create a deliberate fire. This is something that always has amazed me because you hear of like homes burning down and forests burning down and all of that. But anytime that I have tried to, um, you know, start a fire, it seems like it takes a lot more than I ever thought it would, right? Sort of like when you are building a brand and building a business, it kind of takes more than you thought it would when you first began. And also the funny thing about a fire is that once you finally get it going, right, it's roaring, it's exactly what you wanted. You've got to keep a constant eye on it. You've got to keep a, a deliberate eye on stoking that fire. Frankly, that's what Women Who Wow was created to do, right? One of our, I found um, some of our initial sales copy for women who wow and it was you know the promise simply was to keep a constant eye on business development right your business your brand is like a bonfire it's going to create it's going to need you to continue to stoke it with wood and energy something that you've got to give it in order for it to stay lit to keep people around etc the thing is especially in the country right um, and I wrote about how parties like small parties now are called kickbacks by the kids and uh, what happens is when the bonfire dies down, you know, people leave and that is the same for your brand. When the fire, the heat, the magic is gone, right? Then people tend to look elsewhere. They start to drift off one by one. And just like with a fire, it takes a lot of energy to keep your brand going. This doesn't mean that you should be exhausted all day. Like that's totally not what I'm saying. It just means that you need to keep a constant eye on keeping that fire stoked in your business. There's so many ways to feed the fire of your brand, right? Like one of them is content. The other is conversations. It's energy. It's showing up. It is um, the way you show up, the consistency with which you show up, right? Um, the truth is a lot of the reason that we experience feast or famine in our businesses is because we get that fire lit our bills are paid, we're excited, and we kind of go away from building the brand, right? We go away from building the brand. Thank you, Brenda. And thank you also for uh, responding to my um, message. I was really uh, excited to hear that things are going well for you. So um, anyway, but that's how you really, you know, that's the bonfire analogy as um, Brenda called it. But it's really important for all of us to figure out, to really ask ourselves, right? Like, what are we stoking our bonfire with? What are we, um, you know, 
counting on to keep our fire lit so that people gather around, hang around, stay around, and bring their friends. And um, if you have any questions about that, if you're not sure, um, I would really encourage you to do some journaling around that, right? There's something that you need to do to keep the fire stoked in your own business and in your own brand so that it is um, something that people are coming closer to and drawing nearer to and staying around. And if you need help, certainly message me, m.me backslash women who wow. If you want a constant eye on your own business development, daily prompts to keep your money coming in and your market going out, your marketing going out, then consider joining Women Who Wow. You can message me for details. And just never any pressure, right? Uh, Women Who Wow is either, uh, it's either kind of a hell yes or a hell no decision. Uh, you either know it's for you or you know, you know, I'm just not ready for that or I'm not interested in that or whatever. So I appreciate you guys being here and I will see you again. I don't know what time, but I'm going to try to do these coaching from the couches daily. Um, today we have our members only training and we also have a women entrepreneur success show coming up today. So I'm um, very excited uh, about that. Um, tell your friends about coaching from the couch. If they have any questions, they don't have to be women who wow members. If they have any questions about their business, catch me on a coaching from the couch session, ask me whatever, and I'll respond to that. Here is to keeping our bonfires lit and strong and hot enough to keep people coming in. Talk with you guys soon. Bye.